Let's learn how to play Swap. Swap can be enjoyed with two to four people, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to assume there are four players. In Swap, you will take the role of survivors that have lived through a plane crash and landed on a desert island. Rescue is coming in 10 days, so in the meantime, you all need to gather any items that survived the crash. This game comes with one rule book, 14 item cards, and four skill cards. Make sure to remove the skill cards from the deck before shuffling all the other item cards. Once the deck of item cards have been thoroughly shuffled, randomly place all of them face down on the table. After that, randomly hand out one skill card to each player. The skill cards remain face up on the table for the full duration of the game. Item cards provide you with survival points, and at the end of the 10 days, the player with the most survival points wins. So make sure to pick up cards that work well together so you can get the most points possible. Skill cards have mostly passive effects and don't count towards your card limit. Once the setup is complete, identify the person you deem the strongest among all the players. This can be decided through whatever method you think works best. Once every player's had a turn, a round is completed and a new one begins. You can perform up to three actions one time each in a single turn. Those actions are drawing, discarding, and swapping. To draw, simply pick up one item card from the table and add it to your hand. To discard, you take one card from your hand, show it to the table, and then place it face down among the other item cards. If for any reason you find yourself over the hand limit, discard the appropriate amount of cards before your turn is over. The third and final action you can perform is swapping. To perform this action, choose an opponent to trade a card with. During the swap, both players must submit a face down card and declare what it is. Neither players are required to be truthful when declaring what card they're offering. However, if one player believes that the other is lying about the card they're offering, then they can accuse them. If it's revealed they did lie, then the opposing player can choose to take any card from the lying player's hand. If the accuser is incorrect, then they are the one who must give up a card. Once 10 rounds have concluded, a big fight breaks out among the survivors. Each player reveals their hand and adds up their survival points. This is also the time when any cards with special end of game effects are used. The person with the most survival points will be victorious. And that is how you play Swap.